ladies and gentlemen welcome to today's video i hope you're having a splendid day i am maz and today's video for some reason when i'm talking about exhaust i'm driving maybe that's like the essence of the exhaust so to speak you're driving and you're enjoying uh, the different sounds and etc it enhances the driving experience as such uh, in my last video of me talking about mounting the x-pipe i realize now i have the h-pipe back on i realize i think i was lying actually because in that video i'll uh, put a link in the in a banner above uh, in that video i was stating that there is barely any difference in sound and the way i experience it I don't know what I was thinking because I had been driving with the H-pipe for over a year when I installed the X-pipe and once I installed the X-pipe I thought there is no difference. But now I have installed the H-pipe again and oh man there is a big difference for me at least at what I am experiencing. It is actually a higher tone, it is not raspy due to the H-pipe configuration. Compared to the X-pipe, yes, it is a more V8 sound, uh, especially it is noticeable in tunnels or uh, if you're in a parking space, etc. you can hear the difference. Uh, but I mean, it's not groundbreaking differences, but there is a difference and I just wanted to post this video for those of you who might have seen my other videos or if you have seen other people's video of H or an X-pipe for some reason I think at least that the uh, X-pipe is more uh, uh, popular to install on the Mustangs at least I'm not sure but that's what I that's what I feel at least however for me and I also need to mention that this is the Eurospec uh, Mustang S550 and the 2018 model and uh, the export models at least in Europe have a GPF filter which will muzzle the sound. However with that said I still feel that the H-pipe now that I have it installed again uh, back to back to the X-pipe to me it sounds better and it sounds louder which is odd because it, people usually say the X-pipe sounds louder but I don't know on this car at least it was not the case so <clears throat> that's why I'm posting this video to actually uh, redeem myself or uh, uh, I don't know not to fool any of you out there as well uh, maybe then thinking that there was no difference at all etc with this with that said then there is difference and uh, in my opinion the H pipe is better and also I was stating that uh, my butt dyno felt that the H pipe had a, or it made the car stronger at lower RPM and honestly I really do feel that again then I have a lot of hair on my ass so that might be throwing the numbers off <laughs> but with that <laughs> I don't know but uh, <clears throat> uh, again then the GPF filter uh, unfortunately the Eurospec model has 14 Newton meters left than the US counterpart and with an X-pipe then potentially if the torque is lowered a bit uh, that might do that I feel the difference between an H-pipe and an X-pipe on the uh, Euro model a bit more how should I say it's maybe a bit more not obvious but oh sorry for all the light now but <clears throat> Again, then, I'm uh, talking a little bit of mumbo jumbo now, but uh, so that's that for this video. If you have any questions at all with regards to the H or X pipe, just leave them uh, in the comment sections below and I will answer them the best I can. I still own uh, the X pipe, I haven't sold it yet or anything like that. So, what I will try to do is uh, also, as you have seen, I have a video uh, of me testing the Draghi and that was with the X-Pipe. I will actually try to do similar uh, with the H-Pipe to see if there is any difference. I don't think that the difference will be noticeable as such on the Draghi. If it will be, then 
for, if it's for the better even, then I'm all for it because uh, the torque is what I'm lacking uh, compared to the US model. So everything that can help out uh, getting a higher torque number or torque figures at, at lower RPMs, the better. So that video will be coming as well. And uh, I mean, I have the time slips, everything saved from uh, the last runs with the X-Pipe so we can compare them and see if we see any obvious, re uh, any obvious difference or not. Anyhow, that was that for today's video. It's a short video. I just wanted to uh, clarify that for me, the H-Pipe is the winner. And uh, I think if, I mean, if you live in the US, an H-Pipe or X-Pipe for you, it's not that expensive. I would recommend that you try both out if you can. And uh, once you have uh, cut the uh, pipes, it's a uh, 20, 25 minute install to do uh, what is, time consuming is actually realigning the tips, uh, the rear tips or uh, the end pipes to uh, line up correctly with your uh, uh, rear fender then. That's the thing, that's the only thing. So, with that said, give me two thumbs up. No, don't give me two thumbs up. Give me one thumbs up, two thumbs down. Subscribe and until the next time.